Reparations are the responsibility of the state to repair the damage and harm done when mass human rights violations take place. Many victims want to be heard and the government must find ways to rebuild trust so that its citizens feel safe. It must also address inequalities that were the root causes of conflict and include thousands of victims and families who were impacted by mass violations. Reparations have many forms that may overlap. However, each contributes to the building of the foundation for a holistic reparations program. Restitutions are efforts to return victims to the situation before the violations. Of course, this is an impossible task, but this may include returning land and property, returning them to their jobs, and returning their citizenship status. Compensation refers to payments to cover the losses they suffered because of a violation. This can be done in a lump sum or sometimes be paid out like a pension. Reparation is important because uh, not only the cash compensation will be provided, but also uh, to restore dignity of person and to support in uh, other matters like education, uh, medical, or something very important to uh, their survive. Rehabilitation includes measures to restore the agency of a victim. So this can be in the form of medical services, legal services, prosthetics provided to victims who become disabled, and other ways to get victims to be able to determine their own future. The women's survivor, especially that kind of rape survivor, is uh, facing trauma. And also we need a uh, trauma healing and also counseling. But in our country, there is no uh, government institution uh, are working for that kind of uh, trauma healing and, and counseling process. Satisfaction means finding ways so that victims can feel satisfied, fulfilled. This can be done through an apology, or any other kind of measure where victims feel that their needs are heard. We are still hearing people who say, I want them to apology, not only to general population as a whole, because there is including that people are not being harmed. That is not that apology that can bring satisfaction to the people. I want them the government of Indonesia, any representative, apology for specifically for the human rights abuses that happened to us. This is very important for reparation. Uh, need to know who are perpetrators and treat victims. Telling them, them in terms of mental is very important for uh, make them go ahead or have a hope in the future. Hope is very important. Guarantees not to repeat mean that the society and the state must enact policies and practices to make sure that victims never experience the same violations again. If victims continue to feel discrimination or continue to experience violence, then there is no possibility for individual or social healing. Indigenous peoples, as I said, are concerned because for us, reparations would mean recognition of our land rights, of our identity, and our need for the basic social services. Reparations can be given to individuals or groups of people as a collective or a community. The acknowledgement of victims and taking them seriously, to my mind, is the starting point for repairing um, a society that has been plagued with violence over, over many years. If you have serious respect for their human dignity, you really have to pursue uh, reparations, both at the level of acknowledgement uh, and at the level of tangible 
material support so that they can take control of their lives going forward. Reparations about rebuilding the trust between victims, society and the state. In Asia, there are only a few examples of reparations programs. Instead of a truth commission, for example, what was set up was called a presidential commission on good government, uh, which has the main task of looking for uh, the, the plundered wealth uh, of the Marcoses and the cronies. Thousands of, of claimants had, of victims of violations of human rights during the Marcos period had filed their applications. They provide testimonies, they provide documents, so there is a truth-telling component. Uh, but the main objective of the Claims Board is uh, reparation, to give victims uh, monetary claims for different uh, violations. In some countries where there are no reparations programs, civil society and victims groups have taken the lead. A Miharia Associação chega by Itaca Akbid, and this organization non governmental is the Nebe Hareliu by Apoio Vitima Sira, depois de processo comissão lia los. No halo advocacia by implementação do recomendação Sira. Agbit nia knar ka saida mag agbit halo li liu atu ajuda fetomalo sobrevivente serneo serneoa ka tak ami sai hane san ponte ka ami sai hane san matadala masira atu buka solusao. Centro Sega e agora a Reina de Timor-Leste, a Tumos, não é uma recomendação de se haver para a total mata uma vítima de Sira Nebe Maculo, que tem sofrimento já período de 74 até 99. Valo até agora, mas se dá o que a atenção de Estado. At the end of the day, no reparations program can turn back time. But victims must not be forgotten. They and their families need to be acknowledged for the unspeakable atrocities they had to endure. They must not be left on their own to suffer the consequences of conflict and war. <laughs>